Hey everyone, welcome to Lizzie's Little Library and the Newberry Project. Today's book is called Red, White, and Whole by Rajani LaRocca. It is a 2022 honor book and it is written in verse format, which is definitely not my favorite, but I really did like this book. Our narrator is Reha, who is in eighth grade, and she feels torn between two worlds. She tells the stories more like snapshots than a cohesive narrative. It was very easy to follow. She is an only child. Mom had serious complications when she was born that prevented any siblings. Reha tells stories of her family and of her friends. She feels she doesn't fully fit into either world. She also tells about being born to Indian parents, growing up in the United States, feeling like she doesn't particularly fit in either of those countries fully either. Mom has been feeling run down and she agrees to let Reha buy a dress for the school dance, even though she had planned to make it. The title refers to mom's work at a lab, the red and white components making up the whole blood, as does the cover art. I do like that the red blood cells, a lot of them look like hearts. The parents want Reha to be a doctor, but she hates the sight of blood. The night of the dance, mom gets taken to the hospital. Reha feels her life is divided in different ways now, school versus hospital. It's later, later in the book, divided into before and after. The ending was really emotional. The end. Of the verse books selected by the Newberry Committee, this one is by far the best one. Personal preference, I would have liked it better in traditional paragraph format, but there are enough verse readers to keep getting this format published. I liked Reha's explanations of not really fitting in anywhere, such as being too Indian for her American classes and being too American to fit in when she visits India. There was a lot of medical talk, it was all written at age-appropriate levels, so it was easy to understand, but if readers are squeamish about blood, this might not be the best fit. I found that I preferred this over the winner from this year, which was the last Quintista. I definitely preferred this over any of the honors, which were Too Bright to See by Kyle Lukoff, Watercress by Andrea Wang, and A Snake Falls to Earth by Darcy Little Badger which I honestly didn't even finish it. It just wasn't the right fit for me. So, you know, this is uh, the first year that I have read the winner and all of the honor books. And I think the committee made the wrong choice here. I would have given the prize to Red, White, and Whole. It is an emotional story. It is a very good story about a girl trying to find her place in the world. And also dealing with some pretty serious life issues. So if you like first format, if you like good characters, I definitely recommend it. Red, White, and Whole by Rajani LaRocca. Thanks for watching. Bye.